Ainz is back in the best isekai crossover ever. The new Overlord X Eminence and Shadow Enemy from Any News. Let's check out what he has to say. This is the greatest crossover ever. Why? No, seriously. I've always imagined what it would be like if Sid and Ainz were to interact. This is the chibi kagejitsu stuff, right? We might watch this one day. We might watch this on stream one day. With each other, but now I don't have to since Karakawa just showed it to us. Literally out of nowhere, we got the crossover that I'm sure we've always dreamed of. So, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, it was earlier today that Karakawa uploaded this. A 10 minute mm. special in celebration of Halloween that brings together the two rulers of the Isekai underworld. So, Kage Jitsu and Overlord. We haven't seen Overlord yet, but we will. But Kage Jitsu Overlord crossover. So, Ainz is going to be present in the future Kage Jitsu seasons, is what I'm understanding from this. That's right. The absolute overlords of Shadow Garden and Nazarick are thrown together in this hilariously entertaining story of what if. Now, I am going to talk. <laughs> what is Delta doing here? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Now, I am going to talk about it. So if you want to watch it first. Okay, we need to watch Kage Jitsu, man. We need to watch the Kage Jitsu. It's a one time thing. So that video was pretty much it. What's on the official Karakawa channel, that's pretty much like the one time collaboration. It's like a one time 10 minute episode. First, then come back and hear my thoughts after this. Was that her? Is that still Delta? What is she doing? Now, I am going to talk about it. So if you want to watch it first, then okay. come back and hear my okay. thoughts after, then feel free to do so with the link in the description. Okay. Just know that there aren't any English subtitles, and the way that I watched was with YouTube's auto-translate. Damn, that sucks. Do we have any Moon Moon translators here? Can, can someone procure me some subtitles? Because, like, we can't watch this with scuff subtitle. Actually, we can't watch it at all because we need to watch, you know, Overlord first. But we will watch it one day. It's not really the best at giving the most accurate subtitles, but it does give just enough to let you know what's going on. So if anyone does happen to have a properly translated version, then I'm sure we'd be happy to have that down in the comments. Anyway, as for what this what if portrays, it's pretty much Overlord and Eminence and Shadows. Bro, he has a harem too. Of course he has a harem. Everybody has a harem, bro. Come on now. ...version of Freaky Friday. Sid and Ayn suddenly switch bodies, then they both wake up to find themselves... They switch bodies? ...subordinates similar to their own. Neither Shadow Garden nor the Pleiades think anything is wrong, but as Sid and Ayn act more like themselves in opposite bodies, there's a growing suspicion that something might be wrong. Where things start to get a lot more fun and oh. interesting is the way that Ayn and Sid choose to adapt to their situations. Because, like, I'm sure in Overlord too, right? There's got to be a lot of misunderstandings. Because, like, if you think about it, in, even in the previous episode of Eminence in Shadow, you saw, like, Shadow talking, sorry, John Smith talking to Yukimi about the financial situation. He keeps saying, do you believe that? Do you really think that's true? And the misunderstanding just makes the best content ever. I'm sure something like that's going to happen in Overlord too, and the crossover of the characters in different bodies and them doing different shit. Maybe. Oh, shit, Party Party is back. $10 dono. Thank you, appreciate it. But I'm sure there's going to be some kind of crazy, like, misunderstandings. That makes it into fun content, right? They both react in a way that fits their characters perfectly. Sid realizes he needs to act more like this dark ruler and quickly switches from nonchalant to more authoritative. Oh? He also thinks everything is still an act since he believes the Pleiades' acting skills to be amazing. I'm I bet like... I, I, I bet that like... Sid in Ainz's body... And, and, and if these girls in Overlord are expecting some kind of like actual like underground Overlord... Wouldn't Sid's, like, Chuni performance be, like, the best thing ever? Wouldn't they, like, truly, like, they would be so immersive, like, oh my god, Ainz is, like, role-playing more today? Like, uh, is that what they'd be thinking? Ainz is definitely more on the cautious side, and as such begins with a lot more questions. It's with the more answers that he got, though, that he was definitely able to understand the assignment the same way that Sid did. Okay. Eventually turning himself into this over-the-top shadow character, just with a bit more caution. Like, and, like, even more than Shadow. Ainz was able to become a Shadow even beyond Shadow. So, with Sid and Ainz acting like these new characters, their subordinates would start to praise them the same way that they always do. I was hoping to get a bit more of a reaction from the way the Pleiades described their disdain for humans. Yeah, react harder! Someone like Sid, react harder! Isn't that important either. Or he could just be thinking it's all part of the act. Either way, seeing Sid act like Ainz and Ainz act like Sid definitely gave me a greater appreciation oh. for both their characters. I mean, at the end of the day, they are just both really good actors. One does it because he has to, while the- Look at that girl, bro. 
bro, we gotta watch Overlord soon, bro. Look at her right here, man. We got, we, we got, oh my goodness. The other embraces it and makes it part of their lifestyle. Now, the door between worlds would then appear in Alexandria and Nazarick, and while Ainz would be way more apprehensive to open it, as you'd expect, Sid just busts right through no problem. <laughs> Hello! It's a hilarious contrast to the stark difference in their behaviors. It would have been awesome to see Shadow the girls fight down with the Pleiades right after, oh. but- Bro, she has a straight up gun here, what the fuck? But damn. The, what are these, like, battle maids? You got, you got, like, a fucking a bunch of maids versus Shadow Garden? Who would win right here, huh? So, Addy News needs to make a power scaling video right now, bro. The, the Pleiades or whatever versus Shadow Garden. Who would win? We need a power scaling video. Surely someone has thought of it, right? Please? Please? The montage of friendly interactions was just as fun, too. Like, beta sh Pull the fuck up. Pull the fuck up. Is that a penguin? With... Curly hairs. Straight up. This penguin has like blonde curls. And a tail too. And is this... Is this a dog? Straight up, this is a dog here, right? <laughs> okay, this is getting crazy. Okay, this is getting crazy. Like, Beta showing off Delta to Ida and Delta was cute, while Epsilon and Aww. Shaltier staring angrily at their more well-endowed adversaries was hilarious. Oh, everyone has, like, their own different counterparts, right? Like, right over here, you had, like, um, you have, like, the two scientists, maybe, huh? And, like, the Delta and, like, whoever this is, like, showing off their, like, scientist girls. Then you even have, like, these two right here. Delta was cute. Then, well, then right over here, right, you got the, the succubus booba girl and you got, you know, Beta. And then Epsilon and this girl, they like to say, aww. Th there, there's like similar parts here and there, right? That mirrors each other. Daltier staring angrily at their more well-endowed adversaries. More well-endowed. Well-endowed indeed, I mean. Well, at least, at least Epsilon has like different ways to overcome the, the environmental and the genetic struggles, right? Does this girl have different ways to, you know, be, be not flat? Was hilarious. It's out of all that, though, that the most hyped thing about this collab was the music. Oh? Not only did they play several iconic... What the fuck is this? Why... Yo, yo, in, it, what is going on here? It's like a... It's like a tea time. But this girl is straight up eating someone right now. They play several like. I just realized, is this supposed to be cockroach? Is, is this a cockroach waifu? Straight up, is this a cockroach waifu? What do we even consider that? This is no longer a furry. It's not a scaly either. It's a bug white. Is there a term for bug waifus? What the fuck? Iconic themes from each, including Pandora's actors, but they even created a crossover of OXT's Hollow Hunger and Highest. Mm. A combination of the two theme songs from Overlord and Emerson. Right, because the, the OXT, I think they did the opening for Eminence and Shadow Season 2 opening, right? And I hear that OXT does Overlord openings too, and they go fucking crazy, right? Eminence and Shadow. So, I wasn't initially planning to make a video on this, but after watching three times and feeling the joy of a toddler on Christmas, I figured something this special definitely deserved one. Damn, You should that also good, know huh? that the crossover did say that this has the potential to be continued. Good, so, good. Um, so, by the next time, you know, when we watch Overlord on this channel in a couple months or something, right, and we finish it, hopefully, episode two comes out, so it'll be still trending and, ooh. I still come out on top. Hoping that they bring Eminence and Shadow into Isekai Quartet. It'd honestly be an amazing addition. Oh yeah, addition. Isekai Quartet is like what, ReZero, Tanya, fucking Konosuba. There's a bunch of different Isekais involved, right? So we need to start watching that too, but there's so many different Isekais we need to watch first in order to understand Isekai Quartet. Into the story with all the others. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this. Is this not the greatest anime crossover? Looks cute, looks before? fun. Now, if you are looking for more Eminence and Shadow content, oh baby, you, you know I am. The other videos. Oh baby, we already reacted to this. Thank you, Annie News. Thank you. There will be more of those uh -huh. every week now. Good, good, so good. This guy, I've been leeching content off his channel for the longest time, bro. Actually, it's only been a month, but God bless his videos. If you enjoyed his reactions, sorry, if you enjoyed his videos, please go like the video, subscribe. We will check out Overlord one of these days. We need to do slime first, but we will get an overload. And one of these days, when we watch enough, we will watch this along with Isekai Quartet. By the way, we do these live streams live 7 a.m. every weekday. So hope to see you guys there. Bye-bye.